More on the coronavirus crisis and the race against time with that new fast spreading variant now identified in New York and several other states. The big question, will the vaccines work against it? Janae Norman, when it's out of lab, well, researchers are working to figure that out and she is with us this morning. Good morning, Janae. Hey, Michael, good morning. The virologist I spoke with told me viruses are expected to mutate, and he says that these two new variants are likely just the beginning, and there will almost certainly be more. And he says that's why it's so important for scientists to carefully monitor these new variants, like the one now confirmed here in New York. This morning, another confirmed case of that highly contagious variant of the coronavirus in the U.S., this time in New York, a 60-year-old man with no history of recent travel. He was symptomatic, uh, but he's on the mend and he's doing better. That patient connected to this Saratoga Springs jewelry store. Three other people there also testing positive, but it's not known if they contracted that same variant first detected in the U.K. New York now the fourth state in the country, along with Colorado, California and Florida, to have known cases of the UK variant believed to be more contagious, but not more deadly than the original strain of coronavirus. Experts say it's likely in even more states. By the time a new variant is detected, it's already probably widespread. Virologist Dr. Dan Baruch is just one of the scientists racing to keep up with the evolving virus and new variants causing concern. Not only the UK strain, but now experts say another variant first detected in South Africa may spread even more easily. At this lab in Boston, they're studying the genetic sequence of variants of the coronavirus, like the new variants found in the UK and South Africa, to determine how effective COVID vaccines are. The general suspicion is that um, these current variants are still likely susceptible to vaccines. However, we don't know that yet, and experiments are going to be underway in many labs across the world to determine that in the very near future. But Dr. Baruch calls it a race against time to get the pandemic under control. The emergence of the new variants increases the need for a rapid vaccine rollout, a rapid vaccine campaign in the United States and throughout the world and also increases the importance of uh, public health measures. And Dr. Baruch says having a vaccine certainly helps, but he says the U.S. should be doing more COVID testing, more tracing, and more testing for COVID variants because he says early detection of a new variant is key. Michael. All right, Janae, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.